a cold wet afternoon here in Falmouth Harbour aboard Luke Powell's latest pilot cutter Pellew. Tied up here alongside Agnes, one of Luke's earlier boats. The extra length of this boat and the extra beam makes for lovely working, open working decks, lots of space and totally transforms the feel of the boat and how she's used and how she's worked. This is the hatch over the aft cabin and the main entrance hatch here into the boat. These are the uh, main mast running backstays and the top mast running backstays all with column freight blocks. Stacial seats here, two to one through these bullseyes. And here on deck, have a pair of uh, electric capstan, one each side with uh, foot controls. These are incredibly versatile and the halyard falls, peak and throat halyards can come aft through these sheaves and run back to be uh, used the capstan to get the main up and down, which uh, means a lot less sweating. Dead eyes and lanyards, again the dead eyes from Colin Frake. Um, manual bilge pump. Secondary fisherman's anchor here. This is the uh, traditional barrel windlass, but with hydraulic power, done by David Webster. Here's the uh, sheave in the heel of the bowsprit. So to run the bowsprit out again, so the bowsprit can run in when needed. the uh, forward hatch down into the guest accommodation area. Butterfly skylight over the saloon. These are the tackles for the reefing pellets. There's a pair of those, one each side. This is the uh, starboard side capstan. You see a huge amount of power, so it can be used for the halyard falls can also be used for mooring lines. Again here, 
paint marsh running backstage, utilising mud materials. And these are the uh, top marsh running backstage. Engine controls here. And a locker on deck is nav instruments. Flares, general gear. Main sheet runs, double tailed main sheet. Made off here, but also the main sheet can be run forward to the capstans. So if you need to jive in a good breeze, then uh, can run the uh, run the main, uh, main sheet forward and sheet in the boom very easily with only one person. to the main hatch. Okay, down below. Uh, here in the main cabin on Pelu. The electrical distribution panel here and the watertight door to the aft cabin. Here in the aft cabin, three crew berths and seating around a table which is on top of the uh, Northern Lights generator. Chart desk here to starboard facing forward. And a heads compartment on the port side. So the crew have their own heads. Three comfortable single berths. above and uh, watertight door through this half watertight bulkhead into the saloon At support is a heads compartment large saloon table with a leaf here that folds up comfortable space for all the crew and guests pilot berth to port when needed lots of storage in the lockers behind here's the galley on the starboard side which is a nice setup so it's separate so the crew can work but also quite communal and sociable. Two 40 volt oven with uh, induction hobs. Lots of storage space here. Large sink, hot and cold pressurized water and a instant boiling water tap, which is great for charter work. 
commercial grade dishwasher here. And a chest, chest refrigerator. Microwave inverter oven. Again, lots of storage space below the worktops and this side. And here is a deep chest freezer beneath the table. Skylight above. And this is another watertight bulkhead with watertight doors into the forward guest accommodation area. Keel step mast here and to starboard is the chain locker. Here we have eight single berths in pairs. The berths are communal, yet still quite private, each with their own light and USB socket. Radiators here run off the Webasto diesel-fired hot, uh, hot water system. Here we have big hanging locker for oil skins. Companion steps up to the fore hatch. Another pair of berths here. So you can see lots of storage space in behind. And through the forward watertight bulkhead to starboard is a workshop and bosun store and to port is the guest heads full height standing shower baby blake sea toilet and a hand basin And into the four peak with a pipe cot berth we used uh, occasional use for an extra crew member if required and uh, lots of storage space here for all the gear that you might need while chartering Walking back off through the guest accommodation area. Into the saloon. And access to the aft cabin there on the starboard side. And back on deck.